Welcome. My name is Dr. Matthew Speed and I am a general dentist in Melbourne, Australia. This third episode shows how I register a bite record using the TRIOS 3 scanner. I also show how I register an open bite using a leaf gauge to create an occlusal splint that my local laboratory can mill from a solid piece of resin. At times the software can indeed find it difficult to register the upper and lower arch and link them. I have found that if I have done an accurate scan of the upper and lower arch, especially from the buckle, then the computer software can readily link the upper and lower arches. When I first begin scanning, I hold the scanning tip in one place for several seconds and then slowly rotate it and then slowly move forwards to complete the registration of the occlusion. In this example, the software recognizes the occlusion very quickly and produces an excellent result. I find that if the scan is done well and there is no moving tongue, then I can always use the software to establish the bite. To summarize, start with an accurate upper and lower scan. Check that the actual bite is the real bite. Ask the patient to hold that bite firmly and then hold the scanner still so that it can register its location. The second part of this video involves me setting a vertical dimension of occlusion at which the laboratory can fabricate an occlusal splint. Here I am using a leaf gauge to establish the vertical dimension of occlusion so that I can enable approximately two millimeters of material. I'm asking the patient to move forwards and backwards so that I can ensure I am creating the splint at centric relation. Here I am asking the patient to squeeze firmly with their muscles to hold a stable position. The leaf gauge is maintaining the vertical dimension and I'm scanning carefully, asking the patient not to swallow as movement of the tongue can prohibit this scan. Despite the large gap between the lower and upper arches, the software can indeed identify an accurate occlusion. It always seems an enormous amount of time whilst the software is loading before the second byte can be aligned. Once again, I'm holding the scanner still and then gently rocking upwards and downwards for the scanner to collect the appropriate data and images. As you can see, the software can accurately load the new occlusion and create an amazing vertical dimension so that my splint can be created very accurately and precisely. The majority of splints that I make are of the Michigan type and have a flat occlusal plane with gentle anterior guidance. So I scan at an open bite so the laboratory can create a very accurate splint. It is important that I set the leaf gauge with adequate thickness and that I create stability with the patient engaging upon the leaf gauge so that the left and right scans sync together. I will endeavor to reply to any questions or comments that you may have about this technique and I look forward to presenting the next video on a crown and the scanning involved with this.